Now the next stage is to add detail. What I'm doing, I'm using 181 and I'm just going in adding a little bit of depth here and there. I've already done around this section so I'm just working on I'm working on the, the contours that have already established with the other colours so we kind of got it all the plan already laid out now we've just got to bring it together. Now I'm you've got don't want to push too hard with this because 181 is a very harsh colour. So you can see the difference that's made to that. Now what we do then is we use the you see my nice sharp points now this is really important because we're I'm going to use the pencil on its side and I'm going over the area and I've just put the 181 in and that will give me it will change the Payne's grey to reddish dark reddish colour ok now so I'll just finish this off this is a long job but I'll be doing the whole thing in the same way so you'll be able to see the end result when I finish but I wanted to show you it just to start with you see that's working out really well now what I'm also going to do <coughs> because I've got the, the ivory pencil we've already established some of the ivory tones in there we'll just add a few more just to, so that you can see them clearly again sharp pencil Good. And then I'm using 184. Now 184 is a, a golden ochre colour and it, it does really bring this alive. I haven't used it as yet but it does work as you can see very well. Okay. Well, I think I've given you enough information now, so I'll now continue and finish the whole of this hair off in the same way, and then that's nearly finished. I should put just a few little touches at the end. Right, that's that's it. I'm going to show you now the, the very finishing touches. I'm going back in with the ochre, I'm just putting it here and there, and you can see, I hope you can see that result of that on the screen and then I'm using the red same way as I did before but you see the point is so useful for me to create I like that I like I like this red it's a it's very vibrant and this is the whole idea of this picture to give vibrancy to this lovely red-headed young lady don't want any more dark in there, I've got now enough. But what I do want to do, you, I've actually put a little bit in here, you can see I've got a light grey, this is 230. And I'm just putting that in because I told you before that grey neutralises colours. Well this is working really well here, just a touch of light grey. I bet you wouldn't have picked these colours, would you? I'll tell you what, I probably wouldn't have done either. But I love the way that's actually coming up. Okay, now all I'll do now is just use the colour shaper. Uh, what this will do, it will just push the colour into the paper and sort of turn it really more into a painting than a, than a drawing. I don't want to lose the vibrancy that I've established with the reds and the ochre. I love that so I just put them in and then the final touch will be just a little touch of white on the very highlighted areas. I love these little twirly bits around there. Don't want to spoil them. Because what I'm going to be using, this grey that I've just used here, I'm going to put putting in the dress. So it's all going to be... Uh, and down this edge will be altered once I get the dress in. That's great. Now what I'll do now is just put a little bit of white in here and there, just for highlights, to emphasise those highlights. 
And you can always return to this, you know, once I finish the, the dress off, I look at the whole thing and I can finish it off. And I might well at the end just touch a little bit of soft pasta in there. Right. Here we are folks, finished. <laughs>